Hey good people, it is Tishara from Politics and Fashion here today with a video that is all about the only summer shoes that you need. I have done a deep dive into my closet, I've looked through my social media, and these shoes are really the stars of the show in these categories, okay? And I feel like if you have some amalgamation of them in your wardrobe, then you're gonna be good on any MLK Boulevard all summer long. So if that sounds good to you, make sure you are following me over on Instagram and on TikTok for daily style and self-care inspiration, and let's get started. Now let me start with what I am wearing today. The hoops are by Madewell. My bracelets are by Free Maiden. I still get so many questions about these, y'all. I always link them down below. That is a black owned business. This bracelet here is the Just Unclue by Cartier. I am wearing this very old nasty gal top. I will link something similar if I can find it. And my pants are just black high-waisted trousers. You would have seen these in my fall haul. They are by Pixie Market. But let's get into these categories, shall we? Now the first category is something that you have heard me talk about many times but also I'm sure you have seen everywhere. It is the most on trend silhouette out of everything that I'm going to mention today. It is chunky slash dad sandals, okay? And I have shoes in this category, really in all categories that I'm going to mention today, that are going to go across price points, okay? So from affordable all the way up to designer. But I first want to give a shout out to these H&M shoes that I am obsessed with, okay? These shoes you all would have already seen in a vlog. I picked them up from H&M um, when I did my Summer Essentials video. At that time, I felt like I needed just easy things to wear during the summer. And this pair of shoes is definitely in that category. I think they were under $30. They are not real leather, but they are super, super comfortable, y'all. The chunky silhouette for me just makes them so easy. And I like to wear them with something more structured, more slim fitting up top. And then the shoes kind of end up being um, unexpected, right? I feel like it's very model off-duty, okay? I love the crisscross of the straps in the front. They are slides, as you can see. Um, they have this very kind of cushy strap, and they're also very cushy in the soles as well. Now, pro tip here, I would say if you can, go up a half size or a whole size in them, just because the back of them, this is a very hard plastic, and so if your feet are not firmly within the center of the shoe, that can get to be a little uncomfortable but for the most part this little $25 pair of shoes girl they took me all through my travels I wore them in the airport 10 out of 10 highly recommend this especially if you were first dipping your toe into this trend I should say that those also come in I think a few colors H&M actually since I purchased those has even more of that kind of style shoe on their website so I will link all of my faves down below now the next one is more of like a Teva slash dad sandal y'all know that I sold my Chanel dad sandals in the denim I just wasn't wearing it I think it was the color for me and I've gone back and forth about whether or not that style is for me and so y'all told me in the last video where I mentioned this y'all said girl just get you a pair of Tevas and be happy with that I did something better okay um so what I did y'all was I went to a place that's little known very rare, hard to find. It's called Walmart, okay? <laughs> I got me a pair of these. They have a slight platform, so the Teva style sandal with this platform. And my aunt, who has been just in this crafting phase, and she's been bedazzling shoes, pins, sneakers, everything you can imagine. I said, I'm saying, can you do me a pair of sandals? And she did, girl. As you can see, they are very intricate and the beading is kind of like a pearl detail as well as gold. And she has included on all of the straps and then on the back, it has this kind of like glitter piece as well. I am obsessed. I wore them with an all white outfit and felt like they were just kind of the pop that I need. Plus the comfort level y'all is on 10. Now, she can tell us all of the details about how she made it. I will ask, I will link some Amazon people down below who can you know, help us with the beading. I, I can't give a lot of specification on the DIY process, but I will ask and I will make sure I look out for y'all in the description box. Because if you are down for a cute little project this summer, if you have children at home and you wanna do something fun, especially bedazzle you some shoes. These were $8. 
and I'm definitely going to get a lot of wear out of these. I'm going to New York next week. These will be in the suitcase. And the last pair of sandals are my new Fendi slides. Also a chunky slide. These are definitely giving Birkenstock, okay? Another pair of shoes or silhouette that I also really like. have always loved Birkenstocks. And this pair with the pops of gold and the white stitching around them are so good. I believe they are called the Fendi Feel sandals. I got these at the Fendi in Ball Harbor. Um, they are a new style. When I first showed them to you all, I couldn't even find them online. Now they are on the Fendi site and a few other places. I think 24S, which is owned by LVMH, if I'm not mistaken has them as well okay and so I'll make sure that I link these another pair of sandals that I think really look good with a slim silhouette and then you have that model off-duty look on the bottom I also really like them with a crop top and a pair of baggy jeans I mean it's an infinite way of wearing these very comfortable as far as the sole is concerned but I will be honest they do need to be broken in because after a while they start to kind of rub on the top of your foot here, which is not surprising because that's leather, okay? I got these in a size 42. I am a US size 10 and a half, really is my true size. And so whenever I can get a size 42 in a European shoe, that is what I do. Um, I find that 41s, depending on the manufacturer, can be a little small. Nevertheless, highly recommend the Fendi First, especially, or Fendi Feel, I'm sorry sandals especially if you're looking for a designer pair of sandals that have almost like that Chanel dad sandal look but they're easier to get your hands on and also less expensive um and I also think a newer design that has just come out I will make sure that all of these are linked down below the next category is gladiator sandals and I love these especially when they are flat because I feel like they give your outfit an interest and a level of sophistication that flat sandals don't always do. So for example, if I was going out in the evening and I didn't want to wear a heel, my first go-to would not be a chunky sandal or a slide, it would be a gladiator sandal, especially in a metallic color. And so. These are by Sam Edelman. You all first saw these probably in the Tulum vlog. I am still obsessed with these shoes. Um, I think a metallic color is such a great neutral. I've said this before to you all, especially when you have a more muted wardrobe like mine because it adds a pop. But also you don't have to worry when you are wearing color what's going to match and what isn't. I mean, you don't always want to wear black because it's too harsh grab you a metallic shoe okay and these sam edelman's are thong sims as you can see it goes around the toe but it also is kind of has this lattice work on the foot and then it straps all the way up the ankle and the calf as high or as low as you want it to go now when i first got them i'll be honest this piece between the toes was not the most comfortable but since then i don't even think about it um it has a very slight heel maybe about an inch or so um nothing major as far as comfort is concerned i could definitely put these shoes on and go for a walk in the city all day and so i recommend sam edelman not just for these shoes but for a number of shoes i have another pair of shoes that i just ordered the other day coming from sam edelman they are almost like a raffia design um and so i'll link some of my faves down below because i think right now they are hitting it out the park and the price point is great as well these were under a hundred dollars and they are leather. Since it is summer, I do not want to miss the opportunity to do a colored sandal. And I do have these in a heel. I'll make sure to put up a picture of me wearing these because I'm sure the full detail cannot be seen by me just holding them up. But I found these sandals, girl, just off the humble. I was going out. I was wearing the like chartreuse Karen Brick Chick pants. Shout out to Karen Brick Chick. Love her down since day one. We go way back with my fandom. Um... So her Amazon The Drop Pants came out and I put them on with a checkered Jockmas top and I felt like I didn't want to do a white shoe. I didn't have any colored sandals at that time and so, or solid colored sandals I should say, walked into Nordstrom and literally took the shoes off I was wearing and bought these. They were on sale for like 30 bucks and I said, okay, God, I see you. We gang gang. And so I grabbed these BP sandals so fast and wore them immediately, wore them to a winery 
walked around in them for hours y'all had no issue whatsoever because the heel is a bit thicker i am so happy that we were we are past the the stiletto like super knife point skinny heel error i do know that that silhouette is still you know popular there's nothing wrong with it however for those of us who are protecting our knees at this age i'm 40 we are protecting our hips and our knees. No osteoporosis over here, okay? What I need to do is make sure that that heel is sensible. And that's what these BP sandals give, okay? I think they come in more colors, but I love this kind of lime yellow slash green color. It can really read as either. And I think they are a great pop of color for the summer. Ooh, I actually think... Aside from wearing them with other colors, I also could really see this color with brown. I just got a brown dress. I'm going to try this on and see how it goes. I'll report back. And what's summer without a classic pair of slides, some may call them slippers, just easy shoes to put on that we have seen many, many iterations of. I have two that are designer, but also there are dupe versions of these, okay? And I'll be sure to link what I can find down below. But first up, let's talk about the Orans. The luxury girls love them. We know them, we love them, we adore the Orans, okay? I think it was Tanika B who recently said that some people try to say Orans are basic. And I know I've heard that before as well but it is what it is I will have to be a basic B because I love this shoe and I love it the most in the colorways that are unexpected this pair is pony hair it's kind of like this zebra print and maybe calf hair I never know when I talk about these shoes to y'all which one it is <laughs> they are no longer available on the website so I can no longer check I walked into mall and mall of millennia in Orlando and was able to score these my cousin got them for me and so um, I got them in a size 42 once again I prefer to go for a 42 in European shoes they are a bit wide and so what I can say with Orans is that I feel like depending on the material because they are handmade they all fit slightly different however go check out Jernika Macias page or her channel because she talks a lot about how she's been able to score some of the most coveted colors of the Orans and she gives you sizing details as well a shoe that has many dupes you do not have to have this version however I find that this silhouette and this colorway goes so perfectly with my wardrobe until I will always have these in my collection next up is a pair by Saint Laurent and these have been horribly beat up but I will show them to you for the purposes of demonstration okay they are the patent leather tribute sandals they have made this style shoe for lord knows how long they still have them in rotation now as a matter of fact girl they got them in denim I get so weak in the knees, I can hardly speak. I saw those shoes and broke out in a full acapella because I want them so bad. They also had a heel version of them in denim. But I walked away because you know my issue with the denim dad sandals and I don't want to replicate that. You know, I feel like this will be a little different in the denim, but I don't know and I don't want to take no chances. So for right now, we're going to be happy with the patent leather. Now, I talk to y'all a lot about texture and notice how the Orans are in an animal hair version. These are in patent. Both of these, when you are wearing a very minimal outfit, a neutral outfit like I tend to do, one of those H&M tanks that I showed you in my Summer Essentials video with my high-waisted like Fendi culottes or with a pair of, of jeans or jean shorts, just by putting on a pair of shoes that has texture to it, it makes your outfit go up a couple notches, okay? So if you were thinking about investing in any summer shoes, I want you to keep that in mind, especially if your wardrobe is very similar to mine. But because these are patent leather, y'all, it did take them a while for them to break in. They were very, very narrow in the front, but since then they've been fine. Saint Laurent runs notoriously small. So honestly, the 42 barely fit, if I'm just being transparent, um, but they do. I've had them for years now, and I love especially wearing them to the pool because they are not traditional leather. They are patent leather, and I don't have to worry about them getting messed up with the water, etc. Highly recommend the tributes and the Orans in the slides category.
And lastly, y'all, is a pair of classic black sandals. In this case, these are mules. They are by a brand called Chelsea Paris, which is a black owned brand. You all know that it's important to me that when I'm doing these kinds of spotlights, to the degree that I can, I include black owned brands. Now, there was a point where these were out of stock. But if I'm not mistaken, I was tagged by the brand very recently and so they are back. And I'm happy that they're back. Yours don't have to be by Chelsea Pierce, but if you were in the market for them, let me tell you why these are the one and not the two. Look at this heel. Look at this heel. It is so girl, look how scuffed up it is too. <laughs> they need to go to the cobbler. The heel and this kind of like martini style almost Amina Mawadi-esque without that kind of stiletto at the top makes them so comfortable y'all. I wore these all during Miami Swim Week. If you know anything about that it's similar to New York Swim Week, I mean New York Fashion Week where there is a lot of walking and or standing depending on the show that you get invited to. And so to be able to wear these shoes in the summer hot feet are swelling, standing for hours at a time, says a lot about the comfort of the shoe. Plus I love the fact that it has a slight square toe in the front, but it's not that full like Bottega hard edge, okay? And they're black. So if you are traveling especially, they are going to go with most things. If you are going out in the evening, you have all your other categories checked off, but you're like, you know what, I want to kind of take it up a notch, but I still want to be comfortable. This style shoe is perfect for the summer. If I cannot find these, or even if I can, I think they run about $200 or so, I'll make sure that I link some alternatives as well. And that is it the people. Thank you for watching today's video of my five categories of the only summer shoes that you need. But tell me down below, what did I miss? Maybe for you it's a pair of Converse or a pair of slip-on sneakers. What are those shoes that you know you have to have during the summer? I would love to know. In the meantime, make sure you're following me over on Instagram and on TikTok for daily style and self-care inspiration. And I will see you good people cross the internet. Peace.